In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a proper solo bus in Reaper for live mixing. Hello, I'm Stephen Ballast. Welcome to my channel where I explore worship technology solutions. In order to get the best sound for your video and live stream, you usually need to create a separate isolated mix from your front of house mixer on a second mixer. A cheaper alternative that I think can be just as effective, and in some cases more effective because you can use plugins, is to separate out all your channels from your front of house mixer into a DAW and use the DAW as your second mixer to create your audio mix for your video. Here we use Reaper, which is a really full featured DAW that most churches can purchase for $60. But a challenge you'll face with most DAWs is that when you press the solo button on a channel, it takes over your main output and replaces it with the audio from that channel. This is called solo in place, which is not the functionality we want in a live mixer. We want the solo channel to be routed to a different output and leave our main mix untouched so that soloing a channel won't interrupt what's happening live. So what I'm about to show you is a workaround that you can use to get that live mixer functionality when soloing a channel in Reaper. If you're using something other than Reaper, you can probably apply the same concept to create something similar in whatever DAW you're using. I'll assume you already have your DAW set up with all your channels and routing and buses ready to go. Then what we'll do is add a channel by going to the track menu and select insert new track, or you can press control T to add a track. Now what we'll need to do is route this channel so that it's not going to our main left right output, but going to a different hardware output on our audio interface. In order for this to work, you'll need an audio interface with more than two outputs or you'll need a second audio interface you can use for the solo bus output and use something like the Voxango recorder plugin to route the channel to a different audio interface. In the new track, I'll name it solo, click the routing area and we are gonna uncheck master send. So this track will no longer be sent to the main output. Then here where it says audio hardware outputs, we're gonna select an available output from the audio interface other than the outputs we're using for our main left and right. In my case, I'm outputting the main mix on Dante channel one and two, which gets sent out to my video. So I'll select Dante output three for my solo bus. Then I'm gonna go to the view menu and select routing matrix. And then I can just click and drag down here to route every channel to the solo channel. So at the moment, the solo channel is pretty much going to be a duplicate of our master mix with all the channels being heard. But we'll go back to the routing page for the solo channel and mute everything. Now, when I unmute any single channel, only that channel will be sent to this solo channel and routed out to the different output. So in that way, I've created a hardware output where I can listen to individual channels from my mix without affecting the live mix that's going on. How you deal with hearing that output is going to depend on your audio interface and what its capabilities are. You may be able to route the third channel to the headphone output of the interface, or just set up another speaker on that output. The way I do it here in our environment, I'm mainly using this mixer as a control surface for the DAW. No audio channels are running through the mixer, the faders are just MIDI controllers for the faders in the DAW. But I do use the mixer's output section to distribute my audio. So I send the mix from the DAW back out on Dante to the mixer's Dante card, and then it routes it out on the mixer's AES EBU outputs to be embedded in our video. Which means I can use the monitor section to connect these speakers and hear the mix. But what it also lets me do is route the solo channel through Dante to another channel here on the mixer. And when I solo that channel on the mixer, I hear the solo channel from Reaper. So it's kind of a two-step process to solo a channel. It's definitely not a perfect solution. I really wish they would add the feature in Reaper to turn off solo in place functionality and let you route your solo bus to a different hardware output. But until they do, you can use this workaround to set up a proper solo for mixing. I really like being able to mix our live stream in a DAW. One of the great things about it is that you can use Waves plugins live. I use a ton of Waves plugins in our live stream mix and I've got a discount code down in the description of this video that you can use to get 10% off your order when you purchase plugins from Waves. So be sure to check that out. I also have a whole nother video about strategies for getting your mix in a DAW to sound good. So be sure and watch that as well. Hey, if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and be sure and subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos. 
until next time, bye.